Hi there! I'm Claire from EnglishAtHome.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you some typically British English ways that we address other people. So what do we say to people we know? And what do we say to people we don't know? If you're addressing a group of people together, you can say, ladies and gentlemen, but this is quite formal and you would hear it at special events. If you're addressing just a group of women, you can say ladies, while if you're addressing just a group of men, you can say gentlemen. In less formal situations, you can address a group of people with guys. For example, okay guys, listen up. So if you're addressing one person that you don't know, you could say sir to a man and madam to a woman. But this is very, very formal in British English. If you went to an expensive shop, you might hear it. For example, the shop assistant could say, can I help you, sir? Or can I help you, madam? But often when we don't know someone, we don't use any form of address. So, for example, someone in the shop could say, next, please, and look at you directly in the eye. In British English, you hear mate a lot, especially between men. So, for example, all right, mate, or what you been up to, mate? In London, you might also hear bruv, which is the equivalent of bro, and it means brother or friend. You don't hear dude so much because dude is much more American English, such as, hey dude, what's up? Women have lots of forms of address for other women. Sometimes men use these forms of address, but if the man doesn't know the woman very well, it can sound a bit iffy. So here are some common forms of address. Ducks, that's more common in the north of England. Flower, that's more common in the southwest of England. Or darling, babe, sweet and love. And here are some examples for you. Would you like coffee or tea, sweet? All right, babe. Can I help you, love? Are you all right there, darling? We use first names with people that we know well, such as our colleagues, and we use last names for people that we don't know very well, even our neighbours or um, shopkeepers. And we also use surnames in more formal situations. So, for example, at a doctor's surgery, the receptionist could say, Mr Smith, the doctor's ready for you now. Sometimes older men use the surname without the title for schoolboys or for younger colleagues. For example, Lewis, what were you thinking? Where Lewis is the surname of the younger colleague, for example. In other situations, we use the person's title and their surname. So, doctor and the surname, or father and the name of the priest, or a military title and the surname. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget, click subscribe for more English lessons. Bye!